Mission, uh, which is the foremost uh, pre-hospital uh, care ambulance service in Sri Lanka. Currently, uh, 190 was that he has 322 ambulances, which usually come across more than 1,000 uh, patient cases per day. So, so Han, I would like to invite you uh, to give you a speech about primary retrieval service, the Sri Lanka experience from 190. So, thank you. So, uh, just a quick introduction about one and a few years. Uh, this started in 2016 uh, for the southern and western province as a pilot project from Iran, from, uh, from uh, the people of India. Then, uh, 2018, the foundation was set up under Act of Parliament and uh, we got the grant from India to expand for the rest of the country. So, by around mid 2019, we have, we have covered the entire country. Uh, Spanish by a board appointed by the president and they are placed under the Ministry of Health. So our mission, mission, objective is only one, save a life. Whatever we do, whether we improve the protocol, improve the technology, training, everything is ultimately focused on saving a life. 5,300 calls are received at our call center every day. 90.9% of the calls are answered in the first week. And we handle about 1,050 cases every day. So you will ask me, are we rejecting 4,000 cases? No, not that we are rejecting. There are few cases that we reject. For example, somebody goes to Google Clinic. Things like that we will reject. But mainly, the ratio is 1 to 5 because of RTA, program accident, we get multiple calls. In fact, in villages, any emergency happens in the village house, the whole village calls. Other than the cities where we get one or two calls per incident. So that's why the ratio is always 1 to 5. The country average is about 11 minutes 40 seconds, but uh, Salambo is about 8 and a half minutes. Outstation is about 14 and a half because of the cheering. And we do about 25,000 kilometers a day to transport this patient to the nearest suitable facility. We have 200 active ambulances, but last year uh, 
we got another big fan of the government. Then uh, from the inception, we have uh, answered 6.9 million calls. Uh, we have handled 1.6 million cases today. These are complex cases. Yes, we need about 150 ambulances to bring down the average response time all over the country to about 8 minutes. For example, a watering village in Yala, the closest ambulance is Khataraga, uh, which is half an hour away. But if that ambulance is not available, the next ambulance is 150 minutes away. So these are the cases we are trying to reduce. Uh, we, are trying, uh, we are in the process of getting some more grants. So uh, ADP is uh, in the process of giving us another four five ambulances. And also we are in another discussion to make sure that we get more ambulances to be placed in this gap. If you take the case breakdown, about 26% is on digital from RTL. Through cardiac or unconscious, it was 38 years. So almost two thirds, we need to get there as soon as possible. We do a positive impact to the GDP as well because we go there on time, review the patient safely, act properly, transfer the patient in the same way. So the hospital, the initial cost of the government or the health system is reduced rather than somebody taking them uh, to go on a bike. And because of that, the uh, rehabilitation cost and also the time the person goes back to the workforce is faster, so which is a positive uh, impact to the GDP. The telephone process is fully automated. From the time we get the call, assigning the ambulance, we don't assign the uh, uh, nearest ambulance, we assign the fastest ambulance. Or everything is fully automated on the system. Uh, we have the one and a half lab. All the wheel time, which is what Dr. Afanta told, the two wheel time they are being given to dispatch, everything is monitored. Uh, ambulance movement, even if they leave the police station, without a valid ID, system alert. So like we have KSID, movement ID, maintenance ID. In the event the ambulance moves out of the police station with it without the assigned ID, the system pops up. The call station agent calls the ambulance asking where are you going without a valid ID. The next step is automatically a process deviation alert is planned and that's the circulates for the necessary action to be taken later on. When the EMT goes to the patient, the EMT needs to discuss what's the next step with the doctor who's in the call center. The doctors from the call center are from the Sri Lanka Society, Sri Lanka College of Supervisors Division. The doctor advises the EMT what to do, and the doctor decides on the hospital. It is not the EMT who decides, it's the doctor who decides on the hospital. Refresher training. Uh, it's also a very serious point that we always need to. Uh, also, point faculty training, uh, Australian and New Zealand College of Paramedics, uh, they come down regularly to do uh, training from our staff. Also, uh, currently, uh, a team of paramedics from the University of uh, New Buckinghamshire, UK, are conducting training in Sri Lanka uh, for our staff and always we have three other staff. Also further we do continuous uh, training uh, and we work with the high quarters in their drills, also with the fire department uh, when they have their drills to make sure that we are uh, capable of handling the situation. Now, apart from last year we been sending our staff to India for their initial training. But from this year we managed to, with the help of uh, most of the colleges, and uh, from the university, we managed to set up the first EMT diploma program in Sri Lanka. So hereafter, new recruits will go through, and also the existing staff also will go through the same program. But as the panel said, the next dream is to come on and have a paramedic degree in Sri Lanka. So we need to upgrade, and with the support of all the colleges uh, and the medical faculty, we need to upgrade the. Uh, 
training that we do. We do quite a bit of new development as well. As I said, only focusing on saving a life. So, these new developments, we don't use tax well money. How we do it, we somehow find a grant or a donation in order to get the development done. For example, uh, the manual patient care report that we had over the hospital, we wanted it to be digital. The document was ready, but finding uh, 300 tabs and 300 pieces was the top one. But the door we found, and now we are in the process of migrating from the manual form to the e system and also bringing the analytic engine, which helps us to analyze all the cases within the care. The fall detection variable. This is the data stage. Now we have to test 50 devices. Uh, with the help of the insurance company, where we don't have money to sponsor, we are working with insurance companies and we are in discussion with them. This device will be given to motorcycle riders and uh, elderly people. What we are saying is, when accident happens, it takes about five minutes for people to realize and hear the call. But what happens if we get the call then and then? The call center will call back. Either they don't say or they say name. Or if there's no answer, we will dispatch the ambulance. Just save a life. Save a little bit people. Once again, this the estimated time of arrival is free. The back end was never, but uh, we didn't have a way of uh, deploying because we need about 100 screens to be put on uh, each one field. So with the help of ADB, the 10 days going on, ADB is going to be worth 100 screens. Currently, this is working, uh, the pilot project is working at the emergency service as well. Now we train the EMT in a training center, but actually they perform inside the ambulance. So <coughs> again with another donation, we are setting up the simulated ambulance. The ambulance will be making the movement and there will be cameras monitoring the EMT to we'll put them EMT in e and for them to do the training and monitoring. This is the latest project happening these days. Uh, EMT calls the doctor in the call center and gets advice over the phone. We wanted to bring the eyes of the physician into the ambulance. So the second ambulance was there. Two ambulances are ready now in the higher testing phase. The, all the equipment that is connected in the ambulance, the doctor will see the white machine. Uh, the doctor will see through multiple cameras what is happening inside the cabin, as well as through the following. The doctor will see directly into the patient as if the EMT is the patient. When the pilot is over, again we are negotiating with the donor. Uh, this is be deployed in all uh, 300 ml. Thank you.